In this video, we'll be seeing another problem on equivalence relation. We have already seen one problem for the same and this is the second working example on equivalence relation. In the previous problem that we saw for equivalence relation, there were four options. We needed to choose which one out of those was correct. Whereas this is a working problem where we need to solve the equivalence relation question. Let's get started by reading the question. Give an example of a set A. The problem asks me to find one example to quote one example for a set. And what does it also want me to do? Let's see. Of an equivalence relations R and S on A such that R union S is not an equivalence relation on A. The problem asks me to write down one set A. It also asks me to write down two equivalence relations R and S and it also asks me to write those relations such that their union should not be an equivalence relation. Let's get started. Let's assume one set A 1, 2, 3. If I have a set A as 1, 2, 3, I need to write down two equivalence relations for the same. Let's take one equivalence relation as R and I will be taking the other equivalence relation as S. Let R is equal to 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. These three would make my equivalence relation as reflexive symmetric and transitive but actually if I write only these three ordered pairs I would not be able to solve the later part of the question which is R union S should not be an equivalence relation. So I will have to think about what other ordered pairs need to be taken for R and S such that their union is not an equivalence relation. Let us take some more ordered pairs as 1, 2 and 2, 1. This is my equivalence relation R. Now let us take another equivalence relation as S which also has some ordered pairs and then we will be taking the union of those relations. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. These three ordered pairs I have already taken. Let us take some more. Those can be taken as 2, 3 and 3, 2. Now, I have two relations with me. I have one set with me. What do I need to do? I just need to find out R union S. Now, R union S is what? That means I have to take the union operation of these two relations. Union operation for those who already know with the set theory, they might have the knowledge for the same. For, for those who don't know what is a union operation, let me make it clear. Any operation, if you take two sets or two relations, the union operation would be what? You have to write down and list all the ordered pairs of the first relation along with all the ordered pairs of the second relation. And you do not have to write down two times the repeated elements. What I mean is, let's write down and understand. R union S, that means you write down the whole of the R relation first because R is written in the beginning. You write down R, it is 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 2, 1. This is R. Now I need to apply union operation of R with S. What is S? The above statement, the above line is S. Now in S, I have already 1, 1 which is already taken. You don't need to take it again. I have 2, 2 already taken. Don't take it again. I have 3, 3 already taken. Do not repeat it again. What about 2, 3? Not taken. You have to write this. What about 3, 2? Not taken. You again have to write this. So this completes my R union S. Now let's check whether this 
is an equivalence relation or not? Actually, I needed to prove that it is not an equivalence relation. So let's check. Are we done with our task of proving a non-equivalence relation? This is reflexive. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 is present. Symmetric? Yes. 1, 2 is present. For that, 2, 1 is also present. 2, 3 is present. For that, 3, 2 is also present. So yes, it is symmetric. What about transitive? Let's check the transitivity of this operation, union operation. 1, 2 is present. 2, 3 is present. Let me write it down for you. 1, 2 belongs to R union S. 2, 3 belongs to R union S. Now if 1, 2 belongs to something, 2, 3 belongs to something and if we apply the union and we have 1, 3, that means it is a transitive relation. Why? Because I know by the definition of transitive relation, if I have AB belongs to A, BC belongs to A, that implies if AC belongs to A, it is a transitive relation. So for this, if it is a transitive relation, the definition is below. Now, 1, 2 belonging to our union S, 2, 3 belonging to our union S, that implies 1, 3 should also belong to our union S. But does 1, 3 exist here? No, it does not. That implies 1, 3 should have been present, but it is not in our union S. So it is not a transitive relation. Hence, it is non-transitive. Now, since it is not a transitive relation, so it is not equivalence relation either. So it is not an equivalence relation. Since it is not transitive, so it is not equivalence relation. So this was the second sample problem on equivalence relations.